recording. Yeah. All right. Welcome back to Chaos. We uh, have been spending a bit of time making, some, making, a, uh, getting a new character set up for Alex. Soren is going into training for a while. I have new armor. You got new armor. Did, did Rand buy anything? What did Rand buy? I got some more doodads around my person, some oil okay. glass and dry dust. Oh yeah, the dry dust. Dry yeah. dust is fun. You can use to put out fires. It's pretty handy. Yeah. If you make enough pellets. The, uh, by the way, the pellets float. Right. Uh, just in case you, that's relevant. Yeah. Let's see. Um, Kagan, How do I calculate my initiative? That was the other one. Dex. Just the dex yeah. modifier? Just your dex modifier, unless you have a feat that gives you more. Right, and passive perception is? 10 plus your perception modifier. If you, have a, if you have alert, I think it's plus 5. If, if I have 1. Yeah, one. it's alert. I'm good. <laughs> what affects your initiative again? Dexterity. Dex, yeah. Dexterity and feats. Yeah. I'll take it. Okay. I'll take the book. Oh. I like to read. Kagan uh, leads Soren out of the room. I swear. Says, uh, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys will stay here, I'll, I'll be right back. Make, make yourselves at home. So I'm leaving? Yes. Rand, have fun with the ring. Mm -hmm. Rand just looks at his finger for a second and then he just like, this one? See ya. <laughs> As soon as they're out the door, like Rand pulls out just a regular flask, and he's like, "He's gone! He's gone!" Just celebrates. That's it. Interesting. Okay. Uh, probably uh -huh. about ten minutes later. So you have ten minutes in Kagan's office. Anything you want to do? I feel it'd be rude to sift around his stuff. It would be totally rude to sift yeah, around his stuff. Yeah, and this is the guild master. Even Rand's not that dumb. But Today. you can if you wanted to. Nah. Nah, okay. That's, <laughs> that's fine. Your Rand looks all over, but doesn't actually, like, rummage. <laughs> like, yeah. you just... You yeah. see, like, on the on the walls he has, like, weapons that are, that are mounted. He has a few um, paintings. From you don't even know, right? Just I was like about to say he's old, not old, expensive paintings. About ten minutes later, uh, Kagan re-enters. He's a halfling, by the way, as a reminder. Right height, and and following behind him is this human gentleman. We forgot the magic stuff. Okay. Uh, it's going to be 8 plus proficiency plus charisma for your save DC. 8 plus that plus my charisma. Yes. Mm -hmm. So 8 and 4 is 12 plus 5 is 17. And the attack bonus? I think it's just 10 plus charisma. Uh, it's proficiency plus charisma. Oh, okay. For what? For your spell attack bonus. Just charisma plus proficiency? So plus 9. Yeah. That's a big spell save. Yeah. It is, it is, it is. Well, that's a spell attack. So, like, when you're doing spell attacks, like spells that require an attack roll. I oh, know. Most of my spells don't. They do require saving throws, though. Yes. That is, that is a good thing. Describe yourself, Mr. Daniel. Daniel Hanson. Daniel what? Hanson. Daniel Hanson. Daniel Hanson. Daniel Bob. You just call me Danny. Danny. Howdy, Danny. I know I where you got forgot, the name now. I couldn't figure out a pun to put in there, so I, I know where you got the name now. But yes. Oh. I see. Okay. Is your stage name Ego Sex Bang? Could be. E Ego. Ego Sex. Danny Hanson. Wow. No, I got it. All right. Danny Abadan, Aaron Hanson. I, no, I got it. I got it. It's the game grump for you people out there who don't know. That's awesome. All right. So, I go back you, to reading my book. 
do you look like? Danny? Both. What? Okay, that's confusing. I know, right? Curly hair uh, with stripe of blonde in it. But still so, goatee. Okay. Let's go with skin in it. Reason my skin. Yeah. And he's wearing stud leather? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. White Jew stars on the fruit. That's that's funny. So what do you do, Danny? Whatever I feel like. He is a uh, fellow member of the Adventurers Guild and the Bard College, of course. Um, he volunteered. To well, the guy who replaced him was a right bastard, so I'm sure we'll get along fine. Just pat him on the shoulder. How the fuck did you get up here? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't touch me. Maybe not. Karma. You want an autograph? Get mine. Oh, yeah, and this is an he's right. A, uh, he's a he's a pretty well known storyteller. I, I don't know if you've uh, ever seen him. They've before. heard of me. But. <laughs> it's probably. Well, you're level 11, so it's possible you have heard of him. Possibly. If he's. But, like. Taverns are where I frequent are pretty full of stories. I've probably heard a story of from him. Well, or, maybe not in your taverns. You don't even know where I go. The door must be low. <sighs> Same <laughs> shit, different day. <laughs> Karma. <laughs> Pull out a sheet of paper and I sign it and hand it to Randy. Nice. It'll be five gold. I, you can have it back. I didn't ask for that. Might be useful to pick up my companion's droppings, and then Bark is just like, "Hey, hey, 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 how are you? Hey." The dog can talk. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> fair warning, Danny. Yes. This group is rather eccentric, and as you can see from Herc. Yes, I'm the normal one," said the tiefling. Yeah, it was just this giant dude and covered in dicks, and he's just like, "Uh." I assumed he carried the stage equipment. <laughs> he, well, he's certainly strong enough to. Excellent. And uh, they're on their way. You're going, if I remember, if I recall correctly, you're heading toward the, the southern continent to specifically make a pit stop at Salonia. Yes, to see to King Rogar. King, King Rogar. Do you have that silver marker still? Uh, uh, yes, it's right there. Uh, maybe. You want you know what kind of dogs write the best? Your mother. Sharp haze. That's been the best dog that I've ever come across the road. Well, <laughs> I'm, I'm not responding to that one. You just did. I'm responding to my lack of response. That's still a response. Not to his original. All right, let's <laughs> keep on keeping on, everybody. I have, uh, or I would go and speak with Varus. Is his name? And who's he? Can you spell that for me? V a r i s. Language or origin? He's an elf. Oh, elvish. Yes, 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 yes. He doesn't look fey. His name is Varus Moonbrook. Uh, he is the captain of a ship that will take you Neat. south. Do you know the name of the ship when we're looking for it, or where it was be docked? Well, it's in the uh, docks district. Oh, that's, that makes sense. Yeah. And he, let's see, his ship is, what should his ship be called? Yes. His ship is called the Platinum Coin. I have those. Yes, <laughs> you do. Okay. 
Anything else we should know before we venture? Um, nothing in particular comes to mind. Uh, he's a privateer. Okay. He works for the guild. And... Do you have any sort of reputation that you know of, of any good captain, scoundrel captain... His, his crew is very loyal. Cool. So he's a, he he's a good captain. He uh, he's very ruthless. He does not like pirates. Herc, Herc, buddy, just just be yourself. Stay quiet on this one. <laughs> he just shrugs. Yeah, I just heard. Like, <laughs> I mean, he just has a pirate background. He's not really a pirate anymore. Well, no. It's true. Like, yeah. 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 We I'm just saying he, should, he probably shouldn't mention just like I don't mention I was a pickpocket I mean yeah, that, that was okay. a burglar so why not um, Donnie buddy if you don't need to pick anything up uh, I guess we can go on <laughs> you call him Donnie yeah I did <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's great <laughs> just so you know we don't like him either who are we talking Herc about? Says, I only respond to people who can look me in the eyes. Herc says, I do. I was about to say, like, I, I, he's cool. <laughs> I don't... I, I was about to say, Herc's like, yeah. He's entertaining. Herc likes Rand. Yeah. Well, I, I, like, I like him. He, he, he's mine. He's, he's mine. I like him. <laughs> oh, man. All right. What do you do now? Well, uh, unless anyone has any pressing business, I say we make our way to the docks and search out the platinum coin. <clears throat> I know I already made that joke, but yeah. it's still fun. No, it's... <laughs> make all the jokes you want. Sure. When did I get to be the voice of this freaking... <laughs> because I wasn't paying attention when we were going over what we were supposed to be doing. Oh, okay. All right. Well, we're finding the boat. So you head out, you head to the, uh... Okay, so when you leave the building, you see no sign at all of Soren. You don't really know. Where he went. Where he went. Yeah. Uh, he went for the sake of uh, your knowledge. Alex Soren went. The, uh, the Penumbra <coughs> training area is... Below the guild hall, there are three secret basements that they use for training. Wow. Off to the docks district, uh, you pass the CT bar. <laughs> Don't go in it, of course. Yeah, I you didn't. Pass it. And you see a lot of ships. Um, this is, uh, Sartak City is a very, very bustling trade. Big port, yeah. Um, Big port in that it has like the Sartite River is, is very wide at this point on its way out. Yeah. And it's pretty deep. So Yeah. I was just making sure where we there's, were. There's For some a reason I was thought lot we were like on the of, ocean. Of trade that passes through. Who will make you roll for it? Even though the docks are kind of a busy place. But you do eventually come upon coin. It's actually very, uh, it's a very nice ship. Uh, it's got, it's, it's embossed in platinum. Oh, wow. And is uh, does okay for made of a very sturdy wood. And there is a ramp leading up to the uh, top, to the deck. With several crew members, some of them are um, elvish, of course. You see in the crow's nest, there is an, an, an elven archer up there. The workers on the deck, the ones that are like pulling rope and stuff, those are half work. Okay. 
and human. So you have kind of like a, a smattering there. There are no dwarves on on the ship. Or no gnomes, like halflings. No gnomes or halflings. Uh, I'm used to being around tall people. Yeah. <laughs> Just orcs, elves, and yeah. humans. Orcs, elves, yeah. well, half orcs, half elves, orcs, yeah. and humans. No orcs, half orcs. I'm racist. <laughs> Varus, as you walk up the deck, Varus uh, steps out of the captain's chamber, I guess, and uh, kind of puts his hand out. May I help you, gentlemen? He has uh, his black hair. Pretty, uh, pretty tan skin, just because he's out on the out in the sun all the time. He is wearing leather, uh, set of leather armor, and he has a very nice looking scimitar at his side. Yeah, don't have to die. Um, I guess going up. Uh, yes, we're here, sent from the guild, and I hand out the piece of paper that he gave us and everything. Uh, Kagan sent us to, and told us you could get us passage to the southern continent. himself. Wow. Yes. Uh, it's rare to get a, a, a direct note from Kagan. That's good for me, because I get paid. You uh, have any experience on the water, fighting creatures, pirates? I drink it when I'm out of wine, but uh, my uh, <laughs> vertically endowed buddy behind me, he's been on ships for a good long while. Which one of us? Uh, the greenish one. There you go. <laughs> I feel like Hurt. all three of us are probably well endowed. With the... Uh... With the with the uh, phalli all over him. Uh, I see. <laughs> <sighs> he kind of looks him over. And your name? Of course, Herx. Herx. I'm Herx. Uh, Good job. <laughs> yes, that uh, you're the muscle. He nods. Uh, care to join my other muscle? They're busy, like, tying ropes. Right. And setting the sails up and everything. Herc just is like, I can do that. Goes over, helps him. He already knows how, what they're doing. I yeah, everyone, like, stares at him. <laughs> Really? Okay. Because he has dicks. All dick, over like him. he has cock motif all over his armor. He has, he has the, the cock, cock helmet. helmet. He has the testicle flails. Dick. 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 <laughs> Just all all around, all around craziness. looking at your he sees your like musical instruments strapped to your back and stuff sometimes you have a preference In musical years? preference as far as like what you prefer to play and stuff no I prefer to tell stories I find them to be much more interesting I see okay a good story. You don't know if it happened or not. That would be useful. We're keeping morale up. It's going to be a long trip. Uh, as in probably a month. Let's see. If there's anything that you need before we go, <sighs> Sorry. go ahead and get it. Because it's going to be a while. I think we've taken care of our provisioning. Okay. You are a stealthy type. Yes. How good is your eyesight? I feel like that's racist. Well, I think I have a s perception. Perception. Oh. The uh, perception is a eight. <laughs> but I have dark vision. <laughs> so. You do have dark vision. 
so I do. I do well in the night. Okay. Didn't PR, rain, you can be in the crow's nest at night. <laughs> night, night, night watchman. I do that. Excellent. Rand. Rand? Yes. Rand brought my watch service. Hmm. You are we man. Let's see. <laughs> I'm sure, but I can get up that crow's nest faster than one of your crew members. Probably. <laughs> and your dog. Hmm. I'm barking. Your riding dog is you the saddle. Um what a where where would you best fit on the crew? Probably wherever your ale stores are, but um, I'll I, be sure to keep it careful. You have a small shelf you could set him on. <laughs> Just do not let him have cards, unless you mm. want to take his money. He's evil. He wants to, he wants to take over the world, and he fits easily in the most overhead storage bin. <laughs> But, uh, if if we uh, come upon any unsavory yeah. situations, I'm good in those. Uh, my ass is still here, and things have usually tried to kill it. Um, Mostly himself. And uh, if night vision is important to you, and he just like pulls down his like the dark glasses he's wearing, and he just sees the pure black eyes, I can see pretty good too. Uh, <laughs> never seen fully black eyes before. Yeah, there if was he keeps a talking. You might. <laughs> there was a thing with a guy and some stuff. Yeah, it's it's, it's okay. Like well, that's good to know. <laughs> he also was wearing a cloak of the manta ray. Ah, yes. Oh, this whole thing. Yeah, I forgot about this, but um, if you need anyone in into the water, I'm probably a good guy for it. Took him off that button. Perhaps the little um. The little robot that you have. The one with Soren? Will, yeah. That, with Soren. That's it's right. Soren's robot. It's not so Soren. you just got that robot. That's right. <laughs> well, I actually, no, the, the, the robot will stay with you guys. Okay. I thought it was established that it stays with Soren. Because it was Soren's robot. He specifically uh, asked for it. Okay. Yeah. And Soren, at the time, is too eccentric to think that's, broadly. That's right, because. He, and he still has the. the I wasn't sure. Right. I know you weren't. So. Oh, that's fine. Another so, place, uh, Mr. Varus, is it? Captain Varus. My, my apologies. Uh, if you need any scouts or an Overwatch, I might be able to help. I just reach over to Bark's Overwatch. saddle and I push the two that. buttons, yeah. and just the wings just shoot out. It's like we can. We're pretty good Overwatch, and just he, fold he, them back uh, up. He, he like jumps back in surprise, and like the crew, all of the crew stops what they're doing. <laughs> like, uh, I'm just leaning against this metal dog. That. <laughs> Is very handy. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, awesome. I think I think I can uh, do something, don't, as long as you don't guard the L too much. <laughs> and you can. Uh, How great would it be if there wasn't any That fight is uh, for four hours. Yeah, four hours. This this ship is specifically straight edge. <laughs> you can drinking um, and drink. gambling. Uh, yes, nothing. he will actually have you be a, a scout. Scout, yeah. Kind of fly ahead, fly around. You can, you can kind of see. You can fly ahead. Yeah. And and be fine. The let's see for Danny. You would have Danny. Just be a bard. Just be a bard. You bard things. You'll probably have what are you to, doing, uh, when when they have to row, like in the event that there's no wind. He's not going to be useful. Uh, you can play music. But that's about the only thing he's going to be good for. Keep the pace. That's what I mean. Like you, you can play music to to establish the row pace. I can see Rand like someone they pull back, lift it up, Rand's just dangling off the end of the water. <laughs> no, I don't think Rand will ever have to be an, an Orman. Unless you're on like a halfling ship. Right. Even then. <laughs> it's a tiny horse. <laughs> it's a rowboat. <laughs> you actually because of the prep work and everything, you set sail around like the following morning, 
you head out. You sail down the river into the ocean, the Undine Ocean. And what was the name of the ocean? Undine. The Undine Ocean. Yeah. Time's up. Undine. Undine. U N D Y. And we're out of time as we sail south. So we'll be right back. Okay. Anchors of the bay.